Sometimes you may come across this error. Only one expression can be specified in the select list when the subquery is not introduced with exists. An error, something like this. Uh, an error exactly like this, in fact. You may see this kind of error when working with the SQL Server queries on my screen. Only one expression. It says procedure function. Interestingly, I am trying to define a function. Okay, I am trying to define a function. But it says procedure. That's the first interesting item we need to observe. Number two. Only one expression can be specified. Yes, I am mentioning only one expression, the select statement. That is second surprise, right? We are defining a function. Error is about procedure. We are defining only one expression. And only one expression can be specified, it says. Then what about subquery and exist? No. It's not about actually the subquery or exists here, not at all. Whenever you are creating a function, a scalar value returning function, we know functions can be of different types, scalar, table. We are talking about scalar value returning function. We need to supply scalar value only. Remember, table value returning function means you can provide an array, collection of values. This is outcome, this is the output of the earlier function. Report list of employees from a given country. Then you specify like this, returns table, list of employees. But for now, how to report number of employees? Number of employees, we should not have star here. We should have count, number, number, number of employees, so count. And function with the same name already exists. So a function name cannot be duplicated within the SQL database as long as the schemas are same. I'll say report EMP count, okay, like this EMP count. So it's not about subquery, it's not about exist. I repeat again, earlier error is something else, right? Earlier I got error for this one. Select star, asterisk, multiplier, and I got error. It's not about subquery, it's not about exists at all. It's not a procedure, okay? Though the error says procedure, subquery exists, no, not at all. It's about the function. It's about scalar value returning function. We are returning only particular data types, so specific value. The value we return and its data type, they should match, right? They should match. We are returning character, then select some employee name. You are returning some float or decimal or numeric, then select employee salary, digits. You are returning integer means some count, whole number. So this is the syntax. The solution for this error would be proper function data type and appropriate expression or appropriate value within the select query. This will resolve the problem. Now, how to execute select? This is a scalar value returning function. So we need to mention schema name dot function name. And as usual, we supply the parameters. For example, like this. Report next list of employees from Canada. Or say for now USA, there are four employees. Four rows, four employees. So as there are four employees, here also you get count four. 
For example, I'll mention like this report list of employees from Canada as per our existing table data. Four rows or say India. I have three rows. So whenever I include India, I get number of rows three. We can also give, for example, EMP count like this. So solution for that error is proper returns data type and return value for the function. That is the actual concept here. Next. From here you may continue to work with two parameters, three parameters, multiple parameters with multiple return values. Nothing but table. Table is nothing but a multiple values clubbed together, gathered together, table, array. For example, here we are returning collection of values, right? ID, integer, name, character, country, character, cell, maybe some decimal or whole number. So multiple data types are involved, then table data types comes into picture. If it is single data type, scalar value, that appropriate data type has to be used in par with the value. This is a concept. 